We're day three uh, of EuroPCR. Um, uh, my name is Darren Milot for Radcliffe Cardiology. I'm here with uh, Dr. Andrew Cook, uh, an anatomist uh, from the UK. Um, we've just uh, seen Dr. Cook present at a very interesting session on left atrial appendage closure. Um, Dr. Cook, uh, you presented a number of very interesting images uh, showing us the variability in, uh, in, in size and shape of the left atrial appendage. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I think the key, the key part of my talk really was to, to demonstrate the variability and to, to show that really we need to be aware of, of the variability and the relationship of the appendage to, to, to surrounding cardiac structures. Um, we all know that it is variable, there's different shapes and sizes um, of the appendage, um, but how we analyse that, how we, how we view that on echo is going to be slightly different to, to how we see that anatomically and as you heard from the other sessions as well, the, um, the exact imaging plane that you get with echo or with CT um, can give you very different images of, of the left atrial appendage. It seems also that the, the, the size and shape of the appendage determines uh, not only procedure, how we plan our procedures, but also stroke risk, that larger appendages, uh, those with, uh, with multiple lobes, uh, can be associated with slightly higher risk of stroke. Yes, and so there's a, there's a couple of studies that have shown this. So the more complex morphologies are probably the most important ones to, to recognize. Um, recognizing those with multiple lobes, multiple side branches uh, are the most important ones. The appendages are going to be larger than normal, I mean, uh, in patients with atrial fibrillation. We know that, even up to three times the size uh, of the normal, normal appendage. Um, but it seems to be the complex morphologies, yeah, the, the, the particular ones that are, that are the risk factors. And they're typically, I suppose, the ones that we find and we, we end up trying to close. Um, these procedures are very um, patient specific and as you suggest multiple imaging modalities are required to ensure um, a safe and, and, and efficacious procedure. Um, if you were to give one piece of advice to the, to the interventional cardiologist as a, uh, a pearl of wisdom, one type of complication or uh, one type of appendage to, to be careful with uh, uh, one specific anatomical issue, what, what would it be? I would say look at, um, we need to start looking at the, at the, the varying variation in the position of the appendage, um, the height of the appendage, if you like, on the, on the roof of the left atrium. I think those which are relatively high um, and close to the pulmonary trunk um, are, are those to be particularly careful of. More difficult procedures. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate that insight and congratulations on a great session.